Hey everybody, this video is going to offer a quick review of everything we covered in week eight on our introduction to research lesson. Um, so last week uh, there was an introductory video and then a handout called Basic APA um, Format Guide. And there was a video lesson that went along with that handout. Um, so just to kind of highlight some of the important information from last week, first thing I want to emphasize again is that you are not writing a research paper for this course. Composition one is all about the basics of essay writing. So getting your introduction and thesis statement, getting solid body paragraphs and getting a good conclusion, working on your topic sentences and transitions, um, getting the refresher on grammar and mechanics and those sorts of things. Um, so we don't cover research in composition one. That's more of what you do in composition two. However, I know that, you know, some of you may be asked to use APA format in other classes before you get to comp two, if you even take comp two. Um, so hopefully this little uh, introduction to APA format will be helpful, um, but just know that you do not have to write a research paper for my class. So there will be one assignment that you do that is connected to research, but it's really more about the reference page. You're not actually writing an essay. We'll get to that later. Um, some of the things I want to emphasize about that basic APA guide, um, the format guide, is to not freak out about APA format. It is just one type of format that can be used to do research writing. And the reason why it is so commonly used is because the fields that use it are interested in up-to-date current information. And that is what APA format highlights. It lets your reader know right away how current your research is. That's the only reason that makes it that much different. There are those design elements. Remember, we talked about the title page and what's supposed to go on there the running header and what's supposed to go on there, um, the fact that there is nothing ever special about the, the font or the spacing or anything like that. Um, so there are, there are a few things that you do have to remember about APA format, but they're really not terribly difficult. And you don't have to memorize what they are. You just have to remember, oh yeah, APA has something special going on with the title page. Let me grab a handbook or let me jump online real quick and refresh my memory about what those special things are, right? If you start writing enough research papers, you know, and you're doing that really often, then all of the little things about APA format, you will start to remember, and you won't need to go to other places to refresh your memory. But, you know, nobody says you have to memorize APA format. Um, you just need to know what the general concept of it is, and then where to go to answer your own questions. So that's what I want to provide for you, is an overall idea of what APA format is all about, and then give you some places where you can go to answer those questions and get some help um, if you are writing a research paper. Um, so don't freak out about APA format. It's just one of many types of formats that you might be asked to use. You guys are in a field that relies heavily on current information because things are changing so quickly in your fields um, that when you're doing a research paper, you want to make sure that you're using the most up-to-date information possible and your readers are going to want to know that it's the most up-to-date information possible. So that's why we talk about those citations in the middle of your essay when you use information from a source, that internal citation, what goes in parentheses, it's the author's last name and the year of publication, right? Or if it's not the author's last name, it would be the, probably the title if there's no author. Um, but that's all that goes in the parentheses. And that's why that's what goes in the parentheses. We need the first word of how it appears on your reference page and the year that it was published, right? And then, you know, we talked briefly about the reference page. Um, you know, the format for how to do an entry is different in APA format than it is in other formats. All of the information is pretty much the same. It's just how, where do you place it 
and what punctuation gets used and do you italicize, do you underline, do you use quotation marks, those sorts of things. And again, nobody expects you to memorize how to create a reference entry in APA format. You just have to know, yes, there is a special format for, you know, a reference entry for a journal article in APA format. So I'm going to grab a handbook or I'm going to get online and I'm going to figure out how to do that entry, right? Um, I'm going to give you some even more useful information in today's lesson. So after um, you finish this video, the next thing that you'll see is a sample APA research essay. So I'm going to... Uh, you're going to look over it and then I'm going to have a video lesson that goes through that essay and again now you'll see APA in action so to speak. And then there's a PowerPoint um, on useful APA information. It's a very short PowerPoint and I'm basically going over a couple of websites with you, very useful websites. And then I'm giving you also a couple pointers on specific types of reference page entries for APA format. Um, so read through all of that, watch the video lessons. There is a homework assignment associated with this, but it is not a research paper. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions about what we covered last week um, in week eight for introduction to research, let me know. Um, otherwise, go ahead and um, keep going with this week's material on introduction to research in APA format.